Hey guys, it's me, Dave. It's 11-22-2021, Monday night, a boring Monday night, so I'm just sitting here and doing nothing, um, thinking about stuff, you know. Um, my battery's running low, but I have it plugged in, so we'll see if this, this works out. Um, so, you know, as a TI, we, we think about how to get away from this program, how to, what, what can we do? to get away from this program. We, we think about this 24-7, um, you know. Um, we watch other TIs that are traveling traveling around the world and, and they can't get away from this. Um, it's around the world, we're wa worldwide and all this stuff, you know, and you know, other TIs um, have proven they can't get away from this, um, even um, in a different country. But, you know, so, you know, I think about things how to get away from this maybe not get away from it but take a break from this you know um you know what I, I i you know what i wish i could do you know what i wish i could do honestly um i wish i could hop in my truck and grab my dogs and hop in my truck and get the heck out of here you know head down to arizona or wyoming or utah or somewhere kind of in the middle there you know maybe uh go to the coast you know, maybe go to Washington State, uh, Oregon, uh, you know, head, head down the coast or whatever. You know, travel. Travel is the main purpose. You know, I wish I could travel. You know, so I wish I could travel. Um, I wish, uh, uh, you know, I could travel freely. Um, the only thing is they, they won't, they won't let, let that happen, you know. They would hurt my dogs or hurt me so bad. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so it wouldn't happen. I can't afford to do it anyway right now. But after my truck's paid up, um, I wish I could uh, hop in the truck and get the heck, heck, heck out of here. You know, um, I, I think about that a lot. I've been watching YouTube videos. Um, you know, so the question I have is, have you ever thought of being a nomad? You know, a vehicle dweller. You know, have you thought about hopping in your vehicle? And you can go on federal land and camp for free. You know, BLM land and camp for, camp for free. Um, you have to move every 14 days. But you camp for free, you know, and you just have to move every 14 days. You know, this has crossed my mind. Um, because I don't know where I'm going to be here in a few years um it'd be fun to travel and see the united states and uh i have i've never been on the west coast uh you know i've been in south dakota north dakota and all that stuff uh, but uh there is um all on the west coast there is blm land federal land the government owns and you can camp for free up to 14 days and then you have to move you just have to move that's all you just have to move to a different spot and then you camp there for 14 days you know for free you know for free it wouldn't cost you anything to camp you know so you know in the back of my pea brain um parts of me wants to leave i i would hop in my truck grab my dogs and hop in my truck maybe get a pop-up camper something cheap uh, that I could tow with my truck, um, and, uh, go live in the desert, go live, you know, head down to Arizona for the winter, and, uh, you know, head down to Arizona for the winter, live in the desert when it's, you know, when it's cool, uh, you know, head up to Utah, Wyoming, uh, you yeah, head all, I head all over, they have federal land all over the place where you can stay for free, you know, South Dakota, North Dakota, um, you could, you could travel all over the place. You, and, you know, it's, it's not difficult to do, you know, but you gotta have a little bit of money. You know, you have to have an emergency fund, you know, either have some credit cards, just in case your truck ro broke down, you know, you gotta have a little bit of cushion there to have in the bank or use credit cards to 
have a little cushion where if you broke down, you'd be able to charge or pay for a repair, you know. But, you know, um, all kinds of people do this. Um, they um, they kind of give up what they have. And they want to travel the U.S. and they live as nomads, you know, and stuff. Um, I, you know, I tell you something. If, if we got out of this program, if this ended, I would definitely do that for a year or two, you know, and just go out there and see the United States, m mostly the West Coast, because I, ha I haven't been on the West Coast, you know, um, it, it's something I think about, obviously, you know, um, uh, you know, but they would never let that happen now. You know, they would never let that happen now. They would hurt me or my dogs. Um, so I would have to come back home. Uh, they wouldn't let that happen. They barely let me uh, camp for a night, you know, without hitting me. Um, you know, they've been doing that lately. The last few years, they've been uh, hitting me more. You know, I used to be able to go camping and they wouldn't bother me and all this stuff. They let me go camping and all this stuff. I don't know who took over or who's on or whatever the deal is, but they don't want me going camping at all now. They don't. They barely want me leaving the house to take the dog to the park, you know. Uh, they're um, very possessive um, psychopaths, you know. So, do you guys ever think about that? You know, do you ever think about becoming a nomad? You know, get a bunch of TIs together and travel in RVs, in campers, and just say the hell with it, and hit the road, and just travel and be free, you know, we're still getting hit and all this stuff, but we could kind of be free, you know, there is BLM land all over the place, you know, government land, federal government land, that you can camp on for free, you know, and you can save a lot of money. I can't afford to do it now, obviously, but uh, after my truck's paid up, you know, I could do it, you know, but they wouldn't let me, they wouldn't let, let me, you know, they would hit me, hit me hard, they would hit my pets hard, they, they would make it so I couldn't leave, you know, but some days I, I wish I could hop in the truck and leave, you know, go to South Dakota, go, go wherever and camp and, and be in nature and it would be super peaceful. I've been watching videos of uh, uh, vehicle dwellers uh, on YouTube, you know, and they go camping and, well, especially right now, they go camping on BLM land and no one else is there. It's so peaceful. They can have a fire, they can cook, and there's no one around. It's so peaceful. There's no one there to bother you. You know, but these guys wouldn't let that happen to us. You know, they wouldn't let that happen to us. You know, so I I was just wondering if you guys think about that. Do you ever think about hopping in your car and just taking off? You know, I do. You know, I can't afford it right now, but I do. You know, uh, I'm not saying I'm gonna escape this. It follows you everywhere you go, but it'd be hard. It'd be harder for them to gang stalk you if you're in the middle of nowhere. You know, it'd be harder for them to do it. But, like I say, they would hurt you or your pets if you have pets to make you not go. You know, that's the only downside. I couldn't live with that. I couldn't do it, you know. I couldn't do it. Uh, they would hurt, hurt Tanner, you know, or hurt Max or something, and... I wouldn't be able to do that. But it, it crossed my mind, you know, to travel for a year or two and just hit the road and try to escape what we've been through. Because, you know, if they take us off these weapons, we're, we're going to have PTSD. We're gonna, we might have nightmares. We might have flashbacks. We're going to be sensitized to people slamming their doors and doing whatever. And you're going to think, oh, is that a personal purpose? Uh, you know, and we're sensitized to this stuff, you know. 
So we're gonna be, we might be a little messed up if if we ever get out of this program and they take us off these weapons. We might be messed up, you know, a little bit. You know, all the trauma we've been through. Uh, Dr. Duncan says that um, you'll never be the same. You'll never be the same person as before after going through this. You know, and trauma, they create so much trauma in our lives and stuff um, that we might be a little messed up. We might have PTSD, we might, might have flashbacks, might have nightmares about what we've gone through. So, that's what I want to talk about tonight. Um, do you ever think about just hopping in your car and leaving? Hop in your car and go. You know, I do all the time. You know, I do all the time. Um, parts of you would be free if you could do that, but they might torture the hell out of you. They might torture the, the hell out of your pets, so you can't leave. They want me... They, as far as me, as far as I, myself goes... They want me trapped in this house forever. They don't want me going camping. They don't want me doing anything. They do things to sabotage that, you know. It's sad. Um, they want us a slave. They want us to be a slave and be trapped in a house or whatever. Um, so we can't do anything, you know. So that's what I'm talking about tonight. Um, I think about it all the time, you know. Uh, anyway, so I suppose I'll cut this off. Not much going on. I kind of slept last night, um, and, uh, and stuff, so not, not a whole lot happened today, um, you know, so not a whole lot going on with me, you guys, um, but anyway, I suppose I'll cut this off, and you guys have a nice night, and I'll talk to you later.